Oaks, Jeremy Maple Ridge and Pitt Meadows Talk of the Town. Uh, so today uh, we are bringing to you one of our members, uh, Fitness Comes to You. The owner certified business coach is Sylvie Reese and she will present to you on what they do and their offerings and services and how they're managing things right now during this time. So we want to go to the next slide. And Sylvie, if you want to jump on. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon, yeah, go everybody. everybody. And first of all, thank you, Tonaya, for giving me the opportunity to tell the fitness comes to you story of our journey into the digital personal training. Let's start with the first slide I have prepared for that. I have a better idea about we are fitness people that are passionate about sports, physical activities, eating the right stuff because we like it, and being a role model, model to our clients. So in our view, the best way to share this passion is to go to people where they live, be it their homes or their favorite outdoor place or also where they work. Because it is our belief nobody should spend too much time to drive to a workout place when that time could be used for a good workout itself. And to be honest with you, jumping into a car and driving to a workout is similar to taking an elevator up to a gym in order to work out on a step or cross trainer. Over time, we became training partners and diet advisors to individual people. And also we ran group workouts on different company premises. With our clients living and working not only in my bridge where we are based, but also in Abbotsford, Burnaby, or even Westrand. It was now the trainer's turn to spend quite a lot of time away from clients, riding the car instead of spending the time with the client, plus contributing to environmental pollution by riding cars. Well, this idea hit me while I was sitting in my 1500 RAM, stuck on the afternoon traffic on Maryhill Bypass, with a plenty of time to think. Uh, since I always believe there is room for improvement on everything, I created a new service for our clients living in Vancouver, which I called Remote Fitness. At that time, it was still a mixture of personal client sessions and Skype sessions. So we started with few clients in Vancouver to see how it works. With that, I thought it is our first step into a cleaner business, very exciting. I thought that it is. And I was already planning how to roll out that. But all of a sudden, the world changed with the appearance of COVID-19. And our existing clients changed their priority in favor of their businesses instead of playing any sport. One workout after the other were canceled. And I must admit, I had no plan B for this situation. And I was pretty much scared of getting infected or even worse, infect others. So I ended up of having no business for my trainer services at all during March and April. If I hadn't had my own sports and trainings, I think I might have felt depressed. With that thought in mind, I was convinced we need to get back into business again and lift up people's spirits by physical activity. So we must find something to go back. And how that looks, I will explain on the next 
slide. Shania, thank you. Here we go. We refocused and we resurfaced with a new business model for our trainer services. It was discussed internally and agreed upon to digitalize our services. Sounds good, right? The first thing we had to do was setting up a studio. And if you, if you have heard it before, which didn't exist before. In the studio, we must ensure a good display on our trainer's instructions with different angles. The only way to do that was using mirrors. So far, we use Skype only. But with more testing, Zoom was the best choice for this purpose. With a big screen, camera, and good audio. After doing some test runs among us, we were ready. So we thought to start with volunteering clients to work with us online. We started to stream. You know what? It was different from the trainer perspective. Any idea why? Just imagine before, as a trainer, you're always in the same place with one or more of your clients. The same applies for the client. Just to outline, you always have a 3D perspective, no matter if you are a client or trainer. But now, our clients and our trainer's view were reduced to 2D, which makes a difference. In addition, you could not hold out a helping hand to ensure exercises are performed the right way, to help if somebody gets off balance. A lot of things that had to be considered. That was definitely a learning how to demonstrate exercises from different positions via screen and how to monitor clients probably via screen. But thanks to the confidence and feedback of our first digital clients, we succeeded. And we also noticed that our clients liked the idea of having more customized workouts, Ration, which we can facilitate only online easily. With the online concept, clients are now free to choose from how much time they can spend for a workout. And on our side, we can facilitate more sessions with the absence of travel time between clients. With this new setup, new challenges came. With the change of our business license, we needed to update the liability insurance with the help of yeah, with our insurance broker, our local insurance broker. We had to explain the business model to the underwriter. And finally, we got correct and sufficient coverage for our business inside Canada. Next thing, before we used documents, to be signed on tablets manually. That wouldn't work anymore. So we had research for a provider. So we found one to digitalize our documents. So now our documents are signed digital legally. Now with all these pre-work done, the new business was set to go. But it comes with no surprise, nobody knew we are back into the market. With nearly no revenue from the beginning of the year, I decided to invest into our biggest marketing we ever had. With totally new websites, a new look and feel, and fully fledged marketing campaigns on social media, with resulting now nearly into 1,000 followers over the period of the last three months. And some of them 
we're already turning into our clients, creating our new client base. Now we are here in the middle of the journey, serving individual clients in one-on-one -on -one sessions and clients that want to work out with their best friends if, as if, yeah, they are next to each other. The good thing is in all these new constructions, we don't need COVID-19 protocols. Since we always stay in physical distance to our clients while we socialize with them, which we found is even more important now. What we also have noticed is it does not matter where the trainer is, as well the client, because we are in a digital world with most areas having access to Wi-Fi. And interesting enough, we have now access to client places all over Canada which gives us the opportunity to grow nearly unlimited and also working with trainers in other provinces in future under the umbrella of fitness comes to you. But there's still a lot to do. We are still in a learning curve and I think that's the best of it. If you want to improve, then you never stop what you're doing to find your better self. And I believe this does not apply to physical activities only. Describing my way. So maybe you have some questions. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them. So if you do have questions, uh, it's Flory here from the chamber, you can uh, put them into the chat or you can unmute uh, and go on video if you like with your questions. And we do apologize, we did have someone else scheduled to present today, but unfortunately they got called away due to work. So as I'm sure many of us can appreciate how that happens. So, so yeah, any questions for Sylvie with Fitness Comes to You? Sylvie, are you still doing um, programs geared to seniors? Uh, yes, uh, we do, but only on a one on one basis. Okay. And I must say, I'm really happy to see that all the seniors are handling Zoom technology and they're totally happy to have access to a person outside of their world. Some of them, they're really scared to go outdoors for the shopping and um, yeah, the risk and infection. So what we see now is working with seniors that we can also help to contribute to a more healthier life in a way also lifting up the spirits and don't let them slip into a more isolated way. That's great, thank you. And um, I'm not sure if you touched on it in your presentation, but I know you were doing um, programs geared towards corporate, so yeah. office environment, and you're still doing that as well? Yeah, uh, yes, um, office environment and uh, training on office or and company premises we did in the past. Now we offer to corporates um, a different concept for those who are working at home, work from home, we want to bring the colleagues together in a way that they have the chance to train together or so they are not sitting next to each other anymore. That's one of our products and services that we offer now. And we hope that we will have in future, we will have more response to that. Currently, we are still in the beginning with that. But sure, we have all opportunities to bring also groups and companies together, even if they are not sitting next to each other anymore, just sharing their places where they work from home and doing exercises together and uh, get a better team spirit out of that. 
Okay, and you mentioned that you can customize like how much time you spend, but what would be your recommendation if it's like a, an individual that's reaching out to you for, you know, mm -hmm. some one-on-one -on -one training online, what would be your recommendation for time to spend? Mm -hmm. Um, that's a good question. Actually, uh, there is no general recommendation, but I would like to explain how it works and um, how we came to the point to customize the workout times and workout durations. Um, we have noticed in the beginning that um, we offered way back always an hour, 60 minutes workout. Meanwhile, we are more into the thinking that our customer has a certain set of time and the course of the day where a worker should get into it, should have a common place in the agenda. That's one thing. And on the other hand, you mentioned seniors earlier. Not every senior could work out for an hour. So for that case, we are able to customize workout times having starters for 20 minutes on board or those who are booking our morning stretches for example for 15 minutes they come more often and on a regular basis but just for 15 minutes because they start the day with a stretch for example and on the other hand those who are still want to really power themselves out uh, until they can't do anymore and they still exist, believe me. So they are still able to do their one hour workout. So there is no general recommendation, but I just want to explain we are able to accommodate nearly all types of requests. Since we have a new model within our business model, you don't buy a fitness hour, you just buy minutes. Sorry, I had to unmute myself there, so that's great. Thank you, Sylvie. Uh, so like I said, uh, we will be wrapping it up here unless there's any other questions. Uh, we did have someone else, uh, as I mentioned, got called away. So seeing no questions in the chat room and nobody coming on to speak, I think we will wrap it up here. So take care, everyone. Thank you again, Sylvie, and this will, obviously, it's been recorded. It will be posted to our YouTube channel and sent out in our newsletters as well with the links and the presentation. So if you need any information to uh, reach out to Sylvie or contact her, you'll be able to see that there, or you can reach us here at the office um, to follow up. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you.